Okay, welcome back all you sobers and soapies. Welcome to the sobery. It's Heather here again. We are making today. Um, scent wise, Yuzu from Nature's Garden. It's a Japanese um, grapefruit. Smells wonderful. Uh, colors. We are going to be using all of Nurture Soap, of course. Firecracker, Mica, and Queen of Hearts. I'm mixing them for a red. Green is Nurture Soap Enchantment. Orange is, whoa, Electric Orange from Nurture Soap. And Ultraviolet. And Cashmere. And sunshine yellow. And the base of it is going to be black. I'm mixing the activated charcoal and the black iron oxide. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to measure those six colors off into two pound increments. Um, and then the rest of the batch is going to be black. I am going to put it in my workshop heritage mold. Hang it and uh, glitter on the top and call that one quits. Uh, so let's get this one started. So now let's get these colors in here. I am going to say that I got my inspiration for this one from Ophelia. She did one kind of like it. Um, so I am giving her credit. She is a wonderful soap maker. I watch her channel a lot. Um, I don't know her personally, but um, she is wonderful for she knows her craft. This is my 17th year being a soap maker, but I just recently got back into business. Um, I do want these colors to be pretty pronounced. I, you can tell the colors because it is going to be in black. So especially the darker colors, I want to be able to tell the difference. That should be good. If anybody's looking for an awesome blue, the cashmere from Nurture Soup has to be my favorite blue. <clears throat> Sunshine yellow. I don't think this one morphs, but we'll find out. I don't remember correctly. Usually some yellows will morph and then they turn back when they're done turning into soap. The panification process goes through. Alright, let's get these mixed up. I start try to start light to dark. Sometimes it doesn't work though.
much. See, I'm gonna put these on here until I get it filled up enough to wear the silicone holds up the sides because I don't want to get it all messed up. All right, get the pour. We are going to pour about that much. Okay, now we are going to go in with the colors. We're going to just do a drop swirl. I mean, a, yeah, a drop. Yeah. Let me think right now. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to go back and forth. I want to make sure every bar is going to have every color in it. I'm just going to keep going back and forth. All right, we'll save that for the upper part, the top part. Same with all the colors. scraped out for the top. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is start with these darker colors. I'm going to splat it all around. Now I'm going to 
take the chopstick to it and just kind of swirl it on up. And then I'll hit it with some rubbing alcohol and some glitter and we'll call it a day. it with some alcohol. We all know that black loves to ash. Let that dry a second. Because you do not want to put, I don't care if it's by another thing. I know a lot of soap makers out there hit it with alcohol before they decorate it. Not me. Whether biodegradable, glitter, whatever you're using, I always use biodegradable. Or sprinkles you're putting on the top, whatever. If you put alcohol on it first, it's a lot more likely that your colors on your sprinkles aren't going to run or anything. Um, you just don't want that. It just doesn't look as professional as it would if uh, <clears throat> you would do it before. But hey, I mean, some people might not have that problem. I have had that problem. So I'm just going to put some glitter on top. This is just super sparkles. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, holographic and some gold. A little bit of gold, not much. I still want you to see the design. All right, that's all we're gonna do there, actually. I like the way that looks. Now that we have glitter over everything, Okay, so I'll bring you back in a bit for the cut. Okay, we are going to get this cut into logs and then cut into bark. So, get this out. It did ash a little on the top. No big deal. I'll just steam it. I'm hoping the inside looks as cool. to a log here. Come on. Work with me here. That looks pretty darn cool inside so far. Let's hoop. 
that the bars will look cool. There's that. It's pretty cool. And so far, I'm glad that I choose to use a hanger to get it down in there. The color, because the colors were setting up a little thick, quick, but the black really wasn't. But how to help them get to the bottom more. Get these ends chopped off, and then let's see. What we have. These are always samples. First one looks pretty darn cool. There's that one. That one. We will get through two logs and then we will fast forward through it. 
this is definitely an end piece. I want to get the middle and show it to you. I like how it looks. It looks kind of like artwork. Okay. Kind of like river rock, too, in a way. Some of them. So, let me see. Which one is the... This, this is a metal one here. All right, let's cut this one. <clears throat> if I have to get my tools ready, I'll get that on the end. came out really cool. Looks like marble wood grain in a way. Happy that they didn't muddle. That one's really cool. Now you should not get gray bubbles, black bubbles, whatever you want to call them. I was well within my usage rates. So should be fine. I will test it before I set out. If there is a little bit of gray bubbles, most people don't mind it. I will make a note on your order either to use, if you do use a washcloth, to use a dark one. And if you use Clorox and you use white and you use Clorox just to Clorox it, it'll come out. I've had some bars that I've used before I got back into the business part that were from somebody else and um, it stained my washcloth. You just get the Clorox or bleach or really, really hot water and it'll come right out. Alright, so we're going to fast forward through the rest of these. I'll see you for the outro.
Japanese grapefruit. Here's some of the really cool ones that came out. Um, so, I really like the way this one turned out. Um, and all my micas that I use will be down in the description. And, um, God, my brain is just gone. And then, um, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me any comments down below um, on the outro page. There will be all my social media. So I will see you back for the next batch.